So today we're going to take a look at how you can decrapify your NVIDIA driver install. And I know I can't believe it's come to this, but anyway. Welcome back to Tech City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a tutorial on how to decrapify your NVIDIA driver install. Now, I should never have to be doing this tutorial, but as times have it, it seems that even your graphics card drivers aren't immune to all that telemetry and data mining crap that seems to be making its way into everything on the PC nowadays. So, we're going to split this tutorial into two different sections. The first half will be doing just a basic clean driver install, and then the second half will be getting back a clean version of Shadow Play for those guys who want or need to use shadow play also your mileage may vary with this tutorial i've tried it on two different computers so far and it's worked flawlessly though if you do come into problems after using this tutorial just be prepared to reverse what i did in this tutorial anyway let's get on with the first part that involves downloading your graphics card driver the latest one and also i'll put the links in the description below for both of these downloads <laughs> Now the first thing you're going to want to do is just unpack your drivers and then cancel the install straight away because we're going to be going into the installation folder which is on C drive slash NVIDIA going deep into that folder until we get to the folder called telemetry and then I want you to delete the files in that folder and then continue on with a clean install. So now if you've got your previous install done, I want you to completely uninstall that or just perform a clean install and get rid of all the previous drivers on your computer. And now what you want to do here is just install the graphics card only, the graphics card driver. That'll be the one that's grayed out at the top. Everything else you don't need to install unless you need those features. So if you need 3D, then install that. If you need HDMI audio, then install the HDMI audio driver. So now's the part to disable the telemetry. We want to go to the bottom left corner here and type in task scheduler. And then you want to left click on that, open that up. Once you're in here, you can left click on task scheduler library. And then there should be a heap of things that pop up here. You want to focus on NVTMP mon, NVTMP rep, NVTMP rep on logon. Now what these will do is these are the telemetry files. So we just right click on them and go to disable and then go to the next one, disable that, and then disable the last one. So these three should be disabled. Once you've done that, we're ready for the next step. Now for this next part, you can do this two different ways. You can go into MS config and disable these services from here, or you can type in the left uh, corner here, the bottom left corner, services.msc. And once you're in here, this should bring up all the services that are on your computer that get loaded up. And then what we wanna go to is NVIDIA streaming network service. And then you right click on that and you go to properties and then you click on stop and then you can click on disable. And once you've disabled that, you can go down to NVIDIA streamer service just below that and do the same thing. Properties, stop, and then disabled. But if you're using a shield device, then you may wish to ignore this part. But if you're not using a shield device, then get rid of those services. Now we're on to the second part. So after you've done that, you can restart your machine and then we're going to install the GeForce Experience version 2. That's if you need or want Shadow Play. Now, the next part here, I have to give credit to a person on Reddit called Underwear, please. So for this part, we go to the bottom left-hand corner and type in RegEdit. Now, I want you guys to open this up. And once we're inside here, we can go over to HKey Local Machine and expand that. And then go down to Software, expand that. And then go to a folder called NVIDIA Corporation. And then go Expand Global and then down to GF experience. And this is the GeForce experience folder. Now there should be a folder called update if there isn't. And I want you to also to close the GeForce experience down if you've got it open, make sure it's closed even if you've installed version two. I want you to then make this key. So I'll just actually do it for you here. I'll delete the one I got, remake it. So make new, make new key and call it update with a capital U. And now once we're inside here, we wanna right click on update and we wanna to go to permissions. So now once we're inside permissions, you will then have to go left click on advanced. And this can get a little bit tricky, so just bear with me here. So once you're inside here, you should see your username if you're the administrator of the computer. You can see there, the second one down, I'm administrator Thundra Damas. Uh, but if you do have a username then you that's separate from the administrator, then you will have to left click on add and manually add that username in. And then after you've added that username in, you will then want to go and left click on disable inheritance and don't click on the first one, but you want to click on the second one there, remove all inherited permissions from this object. So left click on that, 
click OK, and then click Apply. So make sure that's been applied. And then once you're back in the folder, you go back to the Update folder, and then go back and make sure there are no files in that registry key. So you should see update here, as you can see with mine, there's no keys in there, but if there are, I want you to delete anything in that folder. And then after that, all you have to do is restart your computer and you will now have a crapless install of the NVIDIA GeForce experience. So there we have it guys, a crapless install of the NVIDIA driver set. Not only did we get rid of the telemetry, but we also made the GeForce experience much better by having it instantly recall without popping out a message and also having no performance drop by just having the option enabled. And also you don't have to log into the GeForce experience anymore to use it. So that's a pretty cool thing. And let me know in the comment section below guys, what do you think of this install? I thought it's a lot better. I can actually also record YouTube in full screen again. I guess that was something that they nerfed in the 3.0 driver set. Would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section as always. And don't forget to hit that like button and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. And don't forget to get... <laughs> Are you sick and tired of seeing your favorite YouTubers eat nothing but baked beans for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Well, if the answer was yes, then for as little as a dollar a month, you can help support your favorite YouTubers directly via Patreon. And you can also, in the process, help us overclock ourselves with some better food. To find out more, the Patreon link is in the description below.